Hello and welcome to Whiskey Resource. My name is Mark and this is review number 88 and today I'm going to be doing a review of a whiskey um, provided as a sample by Drinks by the Dram. I purchased this as part of a uh, tasting set and this particular dram um, came included in that tasting set. It's just been reviewed by my friend Lee over on his channel Budget Drams. Um, so go check out Lee's review up there. Uh, but it is the Loch Lomond 12 year old single malt whiskey. As I say, it's a drinks by the dram um, sample, 30 ml sample. So, gonna, interesting. There's a bit of um, goo on the inner rim. Right, let's pour it. I'm gonna give it a, a quick, a quick review. So, Loch Lomond, it's owned by the Loch Lomond uh, company who also own uh, Glen Scotia. This is bottled at 46% ABV, non-chill filtered and natural colour. It is matured in a combination of um, bourbon casks, S bourbon casks, X refill casks and recharged casks. Has an average retail price of £36.45. It's got a lovely golden colour to it. And on the nose, well, It's sweet with the dominant note being vanilla, but there's some honey and caramel going on in there as well. It's fruity. I'm getting apple is probably the main fruit coming off there. There's a little bit of tropical tropicalness, tropicalish type nose coming on as well. Suggesting there's other fruits in there. Fleshy fruits, really. It's um, got some cereal maybe going on in there as well. A bit of maltiness still lingering on the nose. Not much in the way of spice. In terms of peat, um, it is apparently lightly peated. Let's see what's like on the planet. Hmm. Mm. First thing that you notice is it's lovely, lovely and sweet. Very luxuriously syrupy, honey sweetness. And then that fruit comes and it's less apple more well i'm saying i'm getting more berry fruits predominantly strawberry peaches stone fruits yes peach definitely peach maybe touch a pear and there is a bit of ample apple lingering there Mm. A bit of maltiness is there on the palate as well. That is really, really nice. It's it's probably the closest to an actual dessert as I've ever yet experienced on a whiskey. That is bloody lovely. If you don't like sweet whiskies, this isn't for you. But this, this is definitely a um, bottle I would buy, without a shadow of a doubt. It's a lovely, enjoyable whiskey. I think people who don't really enjoy or haven't really tried whiskey, this could be a good introduction. It's It's a lovely, harmonious, combination of the, the best elements of um, a Glenfiddich and Tom and Tool um, Tom and Towel a little bit of Glen Caddam going on in there as well the best bits 
but it's got that fruity flavour that maybe you'd get from a grain whiskey, but without that typical grain note. It is lovely. The ABV being 46%, it doesn't actually need any water. In fact, that ABV is barely noticeable. And only if you take a deep breath, can you actually notice a little bit of smoke? But I'm not getting any peat, no peat whatsoever. I'm actually very, very, I'm taken back by how nice this is. It's a nice, juicy, tasty dram. Yeah, I'm impressed by that. So I've got, got an idea as to the kind of score I will give it. And I would definitely recommend this as a bottle to buy. Fantastic. So uh, Michael Henry, the uh, master blender there at Loch Lomond, champion, this is a good one. It is.